All right, here we are with yet another Mega Man Maker episode. Today we will be playing through a forum posted level, Rising Castle, created by Gamer from the Web, with 34 plays and a score of positive seven. Hmm. We have a few weapons, uh, item two, gravity hold, and the time stopper. I believe that's called time slow, actually. Oh, <laughs> I can't check the name. Uh, but yeah, let's go over here. There is obviously something hidden. Mm -hmm. hmm. Oh, wow, I jumped too early. <laughs> Almost bit the dust. Okay. <laughs> I must have gotten that one frame jump there because the Cossack pla platform, <laughs> the Cossack platform did not take off. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. I, for <laughs> I forgot about that for a second. The Cossack platforms actually crush enemies. Um, so yeah, let's just take him out and be careful. Yeah, <laughs> I was wondering, can we crush that with the item too? But no. No, we cannot! Huh. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I'm just concentrating here. The. <laughs> yeah. There wasn't a whole lot of enemies up until this point, uh, and then these guys came in. It was a little bit... Uh, it was a little bit scary, you know, a little bit scary. <laughs> I quite like the visual appeal of the stage, though, I have to say. Oh, yes. <laughs> I missed something. <laughs> or did I? Could I have gotten up there before? I'm not sure now. Well, either way, you gotta go, ring man. Whopper? Is that what? Uh, yeah, I believe it's called a whopper. <laughs> the whopper mini boss. Yeah, I really like the whopper mini boss. Like, it deals a lot of damage and it's, you know, pretty hard to dodge, so. Um, yeah, it's a perfect mini boss in my opinion. If you want a slightly harder one, hmm. but that's, that's very neat. We got the gravity hold uh, since we managed to scout the key there earlier on in the stage. And this is quite tricky here. Let's just uh, <laughs> really utilize our item too. Uh, oh no. Uh, no! We have to do it over. Oh, jeez, I'm doing something wrong here. Um, How do we, can we just... Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot better. You know, I wonder, can we, like... Like, jump and switch out and in again. <laughs> ah, probably. Left, right, left, right, okay. Ah, dude, this is going to be so tricky. Ah, you know what, screw it. <laughs> there might be something up there, but... I don't know. I don't know, I don't have the, uh, the <laughs> I don't have the skills to pull that one off. Oh. Oh no. Oh joy joy. Okay. Oh no. Jesus. What? <laughs> what the hell was that? Hmm. 
And now we have to do this tricky segment again. This tricky ass segment. Hmm. Yeah, the, sta <laughs> the stage becomes quite uh, difficult there later on. Um, It certainly has a difficulty curve to it, this stage. <laughs> Just get him out of the way, and I might, I might be supposed to have time stopper, or you know, <clears throat> oh my goodness, <laughs> what, what did I do that for? I just, <laughs> you know, I just. <laughs> I just jumped straight into the spike, you know. And now I missed the gravity hold. <laughs> you know what? I can do it without it. I will manage without, somehow. <laughs> of course, now this will be a little bit trickier. Oh, yo, I thought I was dead. If I die again, I think I will just... Um, Cut back, uh, so you don't have to watch me go through this over and over again here. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Mm -hmm. I thought we were at the boss there for a second, but yeah, guess not. And those purple, like, pillar tiles, whatever you want to call them, looks quite nice with the Mega Man 7 yellow eye, <laughs> eye tiles. To me it looks like eyes. Uh, <laughs> an eye and an eyebrow, <laughs> you know? Well, thankfully we got the checkpoint. Um, I was a little bit worried that we had to go <laughs> past quite a few screens to get here. Quite an interesting boss room. Um, it's nice when Bomb Man has, you know, different layers, you know, to go around, you know, in the room too. You know, it makes the boss fight a little bit harder, but also easier in a sense, because usually, you know, when you're fighting him in a plain, uh, standard boss room, you know, when he's on the same, ter or, you know, when he's not ele elevated above you, you know, He's more likely to jump into you, uh, but with this setting here, like, you know, that Gamer from the Web came up with, um, y you know, instead of having Bomb Man, you know, just jumping all over the player and, you know, getting damage from taking, from getting into contact with you, um, he instead gets to go above you and, you know, shock bombs down at you while you can't fire back at him, so... It becomes a little bit easier to dodge him, and it also draws out the fight a little bit, so you can't take sloppy hits. So it's like, it's a nice way of evening out the playing field for beginners, I feel like. You know, making it, yeah, making it a more f uh, fair fight, but also uh, making it, you know, more, you know, a little bit more drawn out, so you can't be as sloppy about it. But I guess, th that's just, yeah, <laughs> that's just how I feel about it. Um, but yeah, pretty neat stage, um, nice utilization of the gimmicks, we started out with the classic platforms, but towards the end there it heavily drifted more onto the time bombs, you know. Uh, it was quite quite hectic, <laughs> quite quite difficult as well, but yeah. Pretty cool stage came from the web, uh, once again, and I will just leave it at that. Thank you guys for watching, and have a nice day.